Hey guys, what's going on? So I found an issue with the Spark and Final Cut. Basically when you import the footage, it's reading it as 2998 when you're recording at 30 frames a second. So it's supposed to be 2997 because that is the standard across all editing systems. There is no 2998. I found this out because I was looking at footage and it was looking a little jittery, kind of jumpy. I didn't know if it was just the way that the camera records, that it has this a little bit of the shutter to it. Oh, I couldn't quite figure it out. So I started looking in the metadata and then I realized that when you open the Spark footage in other editing systems, it's showing as 2997, but for some reason in Final Cut, it's showing as 2998. So when you put the two clips side by side, and basically what I've done is I've converted the original Spark footage using Adobe Media Encoder, and then I brought in both files. So the original file is on the left, and that one is reading 2998, and the, the converted file is on the right, and that's reading 2997 because I've run it through Adobe Media Encoder, and you can clearly see the difference here. There is a little shutter, and you notice it most when things are in the foreground that are moving. It's, it just, it doesn't look very good. So for those of you that are using Final Cut, guys, make sure that your footage is being brought in properly. They need to do an update either for Final Cut or they need to do an update for the Spark. What you need to do is you need to convert your footage first using another software. I use Adobe Media Encoder and that works pretty well. There's other ones out there. Just basically run it through the software, export the same source as your input, try not to change anything, or you can up convert it to ProRes or something like that. Hopefully they come out with an update soon because this is a really frustrating and kind of annoying thing that's going on with the Spark. I've been editing all of our Equity door footage and I just realized it that things just looked a little off as I started going through the footage. Guys, I hope this was helpful. If you're using the Spark and you got Final Cut, guys, make sure that your footage is importing properly and make sure that things look good. If not, you're gonna have to convert it like I did. I don't think this was an isolate instant. I think this is across the board on Final Cut. And I just don't know if a lot of people have noticed it yet because it's such a slight issue, but it is an issue. So guys, make sure you check out our Ecuador vlogs. We took the Spark all over Ecuador. Got tons of awesome footage. I'll put a link in the description to that playlist so you guys can check it out. And guys, I will see you on the next one.